you know what? It's the failure for me. It's the failure for me. Hi you guys, you're Mish. <laughs> is Mish and as you saw all this stuff you might be wondering what I got going on and I'm about to tell you I am making a teddy bear a teddy bear let's get into it okay so down here I got you know head legs arms body and these are called doll joints and I've never even heard of a doll joint before I start making, well, attempting to make this bear. But now I know about them. I got some poly fill and I have some poly pellets. Let me be clear. This is by no means a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Um. <laughs> This is the head, and I'm supposed to use these joints right here. These are called doll joints, by the way. And I'm supposed to, uh, I'm gonna attach the head to the body. We are gonna attach this thing first. And by the way, all these pieces that I have created, legs and all that stuff, I sold this, I did this. Like this thing come in a kit and all I'm doing is assembling it. Like I did this from scratch. I just didn't record it because it was a long process. It wasn't really a long process, but it was my first time doing it. And it was my first time doing it. And I was learning and stuff. I don't know. Okay. There's supposed to be a hole. And there is a hole. Come on. Instead of a washer and a lock comes with this. This is beyond me. Okay. I got the idea to make this teddy bear at like 2 a.m. or something like that. This is backwards. So we got the head and we have the body together. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I do remember something about I had to cut a hole in here. I'm scared to cut the hole in here. I'm lost. few moments later yes i think i was doing things wrong while well, i was about to do things wrong one thing about me i love crafting i'm creative af like for real like i'm a very creative person i love to make things i love to create but if you follow me you'll know that i've been like on this trying to conceive journey trying to be a mom. I just be getting down a lot and I have not been crafting in such a long time. I just been down, like I just couldn't even bring myself to be back here doing anything. I had this idea to make this bear at like two o'clock in the morning one night and I was just up researching and I found something I thought like maybe I could do. And I just, started ordering things like that night, waiting for it to come in. And I just started to, to work on it and I just started feeling good. Like I was happy to be doing it. And I learned so much cause I made a lot of mistakes, but I learned so much. And I know my next one that I make is gonna be dang near perfect. Oh, if I get some, um subscribers and stuff i might do like giveaways of stuff like i not just this but stuff that i do i do a whole bunch of things i craft i just create i like to do a whole bunch of things and you guys will see that on this channel because you know i do what i want on here i'm about to get to 
assembling this because ain't nobody got time for this. You're not gonna believe this. Or maybe you will, because if you call my other videos, something always go wrong. I have to add the legs, and I already had the wrong size joints for the legs. But I was like, I was going to work with what I had. I was going to work with what I had. I was going to do this, and hopefully it came out good. But I realized I didn't even have enough joints ordered, so I only had enough to make one leg. I can't have no three-legged bear. So we're going to have to come back. Now the good news is, is that I have some more joints on the way, but they just got shipped today, but they should be arriving in a couple of days. Something always goes wrong with my videos. Like, I already don't have no subscribers. Like, I ordered the wrong size and then I didn't even order enough in the wrong size. Like, say you a failure without saying you a failure. Maybe this was just, a lesson like telling me that yo don't substitute use the right pieces don't substitute so i'm gonna be back oh yeah bear said he'll see y'all later too it's really the failure for me three days later i'm back um i have the bear and i have the joints i got the joints we about to do this we about to get this bear wrapped up and done before we do that this is honestly me, so I gotta keep it real and be honest with y'all about what I'm going through. And just in case y'all see the change of energy from when I first started recording this to now, it's because I'm down. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm really down right now. Um, if you have been watching my videos, you know I've been trying to conceive and i'm still trying to conceive and i'm doing my best and all i can really do and it's a really hard and long process but today i was talking to my cousin i haven't really talked to her in a while so we was chatting long story short she told me that she is expecting and honestly i'm happy for her it hurts a bit just being in my situation. I'm trying so hard. But you know, I'm just going to accept the fact that it is what it is. I'm just going to say that I'm happy for her, but yet I'm hurt. And it's not even personal. Back to this bear. As I was saying in the other video that I've been down and this bear has like... I feel good making this bear. So we're going to continue and we're about to just... Continue where we left off. I mean, these are the joints that I need for his legs. These were the ones that I already had that I used for his arms. And these are joints that I only got. You guys look. Ah, I, I, I got the legs on. It look like a bear now, don't it? So next, what we're about to do is we're about to stuff them. Or, no, we're going to put the polish pellets in. I think that's what's next. And then we're gonna stuff it. Okay, here we go. And I promise I have shorts on, gray shorts. Um, to my understanding, we just gonna put some in the bottom. I mean, put some in the back of him because we, we wanna put enough so he can sit down. And now we're gonna put some of this polyfill in him to stuff or her up. But I'm gonna do this and stuff him up to the right amount that I want. And then I'm gonna do the same with like the legs and arms. I'm probably just gonna put some of this poly beads in his legs. Maybe a little in the arm. So y'all wanna know who understood the excitement? I did, I did. But look, look. Y'all had no hope for this bear. Tell the truth, y'all didn't have no hope in me of, of this actually looking this well. The only thing is, 
I just realized that I'm gonna have to do some hand stitching because you see I got these openings that I'm gonna have to hand stitch so it can look, you know, professional. We gonna do it, we gonna do it all the way and we gonna do it good. So yeah, I'm gonna need a drink for this. I, I'm gonna need a drink for this. This is so, so good. You know what, to tell you the truth, I haven't drunk in a long, long time. I haven't really been drinking because, you know, I'm trying to conceive. Like, how many times I said that? I'm trying to conceive. And drinking is not good. Drinking is not good for that. But luckily, I never really drunk much anyway. And when I did, it was like little light, fruity shit like this. Like, this ain't nothing. This is 5% alcohol, 10 proof. I don't know what 10 proof means, but this, this is like sweet Kool Aid. This type of fruity drinks I like to drink when I did drink. But I haven't drunk since June or had any alcohol since June. This whole situation and with this teddy bear is just like, I'm gonna name this teddy bear Rain. And for the simple reason as, have you saw his foot? I don't know if you really saw the foot and it got like a, Got this little rainbow that I put on the foot of him or her. And that rainbow is there for a reason. I wasn't gonna tell y'all, at least not right now, but why not? One of my, my fifth, I had six IUIs. My fifth one actually did take Well, kind of. Well, it took. But I had a very, very early miscarriage. It was heartbreaking to me. And it happened. This was going on with me over Mother's Day weekend. And I'm telling y'all this. I haven't even told, like, hardly nobody. I only told my mom this. And now I'm telling you guys. So this is kind of like why that call from my, um, not call, but text from my cousin kind of hit me hard. Because I should be pregnant right now. And I'm not. Like, I didn't even get the chance to, like, go and get an ultrasound done. I didn't get to hear a heartbeat by the time I lost the baby. Like, when I got my, when I got my positive pregnancy test, I of course called my doctor and they sent me in for, they sent me in for blood tests where they confirmed that yes, I was pregnant, but when they called me with that news, they was like, yes, you are, but your numbers, I didn't really know what that meant, but it's like, your numbers aren't like that high, but it's okay because they usually double and triple as, you know, days come, but mine's didn't, and my numbers were getting lower and lower and lower, so they were like, none, so, yeah. So that's why I'm gonna name this bear brain. This bear actually reminds me of this journey that I'm on because I didn't start from the beginning like I've been trying. I'm just now bringing this to YouTube or whatever. I'm coming at the point that I'm coming just like I came after I already sold these pieces together and now 
And you've seen the hardships that I had. I was missing pieces and I had to wait for things to go exactly how I wanted it to go making this, but we gonna get a bear at the end of the day. He or she is still not finished, but we gonna have, this gonna be a bear at the end of the day. And I'm hoping I'm gonna have my baby at the end of the day, my rainbow baby to go with the bear rain. I'm sounding like I'm drunk and I only, I only just had a few to, I only just had a full few, <laughs> I only just had a few spoonfuls of this and I'm just acting belligerent. I actually feel good and this bear is making me feel good. This bear is making me feel great because I wasn't feeling too hot before. But now I am. Are we recording? Yeah. My camera just ran out of space on me. So I did delete some files, but I'm gonna take it as it told me to just shut up. And get to finishing this bear up because we ain't got all night. Got the goods, the needles and thread. I know y'all can't really see much right now because white bear, white thread. But that's probably good because I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to be doing what's called a ladder stitch to close him up, but we gonna see about that. I don't know if I'm ladder stitching correctly, but I think I got it. I gotta sew this back right here. The back of the head needs to be sewed and on the arms and both legs needs to be sewn in and I will be right back with y'all. Y'all look at Rain, all sewed up. Turn him, turn him or her around. All this head sewn back, legs, arms. Looking cute. Like, come on. It's adorable. I love Rain. This bear is giving quality. The arms can move, legs can move up and down, head can turn all around. It's like, this is quality. You can even stand up. I kid you not, my bear can stand up. Are y'all seeing that? Are y'all seeing? Are y'all seeing this? I'm gonna make her or him some clothes. I'm gonna make the clothes something unisex that a boy or girl can wear because my bear has no gender. This fur is gonna stand for like a reminder that I can get through whatever that because this is so worth it and I'm so happy I made this bear. How cute is it? How cute? You can't tell me it's cute. If you said that my bear ain't cute, you a hater. You are a hater. We're about to wrap this video up. Me and Rain are asking you to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys, hopefully, we will see you guys on the next video. Say bye-bye, Ray. Yes, Ray, you better give me face. Yeah. Yes, Ray, baby, you better do the splits. These other bears could never, they could never.